Glad to have you with us on NHK Newsline. I'm Yuko Fukushima. Let's get you the latest at this hour. A slow but steady restart. Some prefectures in Japan are resuming business as the government mulls lifting a state of emergency put in place for the coronavirus before the end of the month. More than 30 prefectures are expected to ease restrictions, but not Tokyo. In the capital's central district, Shinjuku, more people seem to be heading back to work after the spring holidays. The state of emergency came into effect for Tokyo and six other prefectures on April 7. The government since extended it nationwide. On Monday morning, streets near Shinjuku Station, one of the busiest in the world, saw more commuters than in recent days, while most department stores and restaurants remain closed. I go to work as usual. Due to the nature of my work, I have to meet with clients, so it's hard for me to work from home. The government plans to discuss when and how to lift the state of emergency for certain prefectures at a meeting of its expert panel on Thursday. A likely criteria will be whether an area sees a decline in weekly new cases that is proportional to its population. As of Sunday, Fukui Prefecture has reported no new cases for more than 10 days. At the same time, this aquarium is reopening after about a month's closure, but it's limiting the number of visitors as a safety precaution. As there are not many places for small kids to go out, we came here today for the first time in a while. Some schools are also reopening, including this elementary school in Niigata Prefecture. The school days are shorter than usual and students must wear face masks. I'm happy to see all my friends. Japan now has over 15,000 confirmed cases. The death toll stands at more than 630. Hospitals across Japan are potentially facing a serious bed shortage. The health ministry says local authorities only have half the beds they'll need for coronavirus patients when the outbreak reaches its peak. At that time, estimates indicate Japan will need 31,000 beds, but a ministry survey reveals that as of the start of this month, prefectures have secured fewer than 15,000. So far, only 12 prefectures have the beds they'll likely to need. Some hospitals are already at capacity. The survey shows Tokyo has filled 91 percent of the beds it's allocated for coronavirus patients. In Ishikawa Prefecture, 88 percent are full. The ministry is now calling on prefectural governments to ramp up efforts to boost their treatment capacity. Prime Minister Abe Shinzo says Japanese researchers are expected to launch, uh, launch clinical trials for a coronavirus vaccine within a month. Clinical trials of a vaccine are expected to begin in the country as early as July. We are hurrying to develop one in concert with the international community. The Prime Minister told the lower house committee on Monday vaccines are being developed at several institutions across the country. Abe also reiterated his administration aims to approve the anti-flu drug Avigon to treat COVID-19 by the end of this month. Chinese researchers said earlier the Japan-developed drug had proven effective in treating patients infected with the virus. And that's it for this hour on NHK Newsline. I'm Yuko Fukushima in Tokyo.